Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals. On today's episode of the Warren Christmas Village channel, I'm gonna do an unboxing of our tabletop miniatures line so you can see what we have coming down the pipeline for 2019. This year we released four new sets of miniatures. Three with a holiday theme and one cowboy riding a jackalope, which are available at amazon.com. And we're currently have a Kickstarter for the Gingerbread Gang. Help fund the dream or the confectioner's nightmare as we seek to fundraise for our next batch of miniatures. So let's get started. The first set that I'm going to unbox is the O oh Christmas Tree and O oh Christmas Tree and How Deadly Are Thy Branches. It comes with a Christmas tree and three workshop elves and some presents. And the tree here is 84 millimeters tall, which is very tall for a D&D &D creature. It comes with ornaments, candy canes, and a star on top. So we went with uh, the old man nature tree look that you kind of have in a lot of druidic pagan lore. And the three workshop elves come armed and dangerous. The first one has a giant mallet. The second one has grabbed a giant candy cane to use as a weapon. And the third comes armed and dangerous with a crossbow. I would not be messing with them. Then each set also comes with three present, present mimicries and three decoys, which are great to use as objective tokens for your war games, or they're also great to use for Pathfinder or D&D as decoys for your player characters. In Each set also comes with a D6 randomizer die, and so let's get moving on to the Mistletoe Misfits, which are the next set in our holiday collection. The Mistletoe Misfits was a series of stretch goals from our previous War in Christmas Village Kickstarter and includes some really great ideas from our backers. And it's really, honestly, kind of one of my favorite sets at the moment. First off, we have the Steampunk Easter Bunny, who comes complete with a basket on his back with carrots and eggs. He's got a nice bandolier, a fancy high-tech gun, and goggles and a scarf to complete the steampunk look. Next up, we have a reindeer folk with a hammer and a nice kilt. He's very muscular, great for a barbarian type character if you'd like to throw that at your players' characters. And then we also have the Rat King, which is from the Nutcracker story. Here is our interpretation of Jack Frost, which can also be used for uh, Genasi in the D&D &D game. Persia, the Christmas witch. She has a really interesting story and origin in the Alpines. And there's some philosophy that she originated as a goddess and kind of got dumbed down to a witch. But anyway, Google Persia, the Christmas witch, for some really interesting and kind of gruesome holiday story. Persia comes complete with uh, horns, um, familiar staff, and a swan foot, like because she's a shapeshifter. Here we have Roderick from DM Scotty. We redid the Roderick mascot for his channel and put him in with the stretch goals. Here's a nutcracker that was a suggestion from a backer that we make a nutcracker to go along with the Rat King. So here's the whole setup. Next up, we have She Ain't Having It, which has the Misses, a uh, bodyguard, and some zombies from uh, the Christmas Villagers have been turned into zombies by the evil necromancer. There's a little smattering. There you go. Called She Ain't Having It. So the Misses has come out of her kitchen with a crossbow. Let's see what the box looks like. Start off with the misses. We've got a kind of matronly grandma look going on with the hearts. She has a rolling pin on her back for melee combat with the zombies, and she's armed and dangerous with the crossbow. Next, we have her snowman bodyguard named Baxter chomping on a cigar, and he is armed with a sword ready to help protect the misses from the zombie Christmas villagers. Here we have Jebediah, nice Victorian Charles Dickens style zombie, and we have Steamboat Annie, which is also a Charles Dickens-style Victorian-esque zombie. She's got a nice little look to her, Victorian. 
like she just got freshly turned into a zombie. And then we have Ebenezer, who is a little bit road hard and put up wet kind of zombie. And he's just kind of ragged. And then we also have Margaret the Mare, a zombie horse, who originated in one of my uh, homebrew campaigns where she appeared in the village Hamlet, which is a really old D&D module from the late 70s. So there's Margaret the Mare. And uh, once again, we have another uh, randomizer die. And then here, coming up next, is the cowboy riding a jackalope. This miniature is a set that is just complete shenanigans and pure Americana and based on the vintage postcards from back in the day. The Cowboy Riding a Jackalope set is uh, three pieces and the cowboy comes loose. So you can glue him on if you want to or perhaps modify another figure for a mount in your games. <laughs> Also, please don't forget about the Gingerbread Gang and help fund the next batch of War in Christmas Village tabletop miniatures. The link is in the drop-down box below. Thanks a lot for watching this, and have a great one.